welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to integrating flutter in our system first of all open chrome and search here android studio for flutter development okay search here android studio here first website is the official website for downloading android studio so uh, click on the first website first link download now android studio and sdk tools okay uh, so we are navigating here and there is download button tap on it and uh, scroll down there is also a downloading button which is visible by checking this box i have read and agree okay check this box and now you are enabled to download android studio tap on that button and android studio is now downloading okay now let's go and download flutter sdk open new tab and search here flutter sdk and then we are navigating here the first website is the official website for downloading flutter sdk so tap on it and we are going to download flutter sdk now select the operating system which you are currently using so i am using windows operating system so i select it so we are navigating here there is multiple options but i need desktop version so i select the desktop version now scroll down and look for the downloading button for download flutter sdk okay so here is the download and install tab tap on it and scroll down there is a blue button for download flutter sdk of version 3.19.3 .3. this is a zip file and we will extract it as you can see here android studio and flutter sdk are currently downloading so downloading is completed uh, the flutter sdk and android studio show in folder so here is the android studio setup and we are going to install it double tap on it and the setup will open tap on the next button and again next button if you want to change the installation directory then you can otherwise tap on next and tap on the install the installation is proceed the installation has been completed tap on finish button and android studio has been opened and now we are going to further installation of android studio okay uh, here send usage statics to google there is a little bit of downloading tap on the next button to further proceed here the standard option should be selected and then click on the next button so this is the downloading settings and here you can see 1.94 gb of download downloading size okay so this is indicating what will be downloaded and then tap on the next button as you can see next button is not visible and tap on the android sdk license and accept it again i am going to select this android sdk arm and accept it okay and then last one is intel android extra license tap on it and accept it now you are enabled to finish it downloading is in progress here i will fast forward this clip so here as you can see download has been completed and i finish it so now android studio is ready to use we don't need only android studio but we need flutter sdk install flutter sdk in the android studio and then we will use flutter now extract the flutter sdk and, and select the c drive to extract it okay so select the c drive double tap on the c drive and then press ok as you can see here is the c drive selected okay now press the ok button this will take a little bit of time and uh, as you can see here the c drive there is a flutter folder which is uh, which is being extracted okay after the completion open this flutter sdk open the bin folder and from here you can select the from here select the path of this bin folder copy this path now search here the variable okay there is an option of edit the system environment variables uh, open it and there is also a environment variables button tap on it and then again there is the path okay there is a path section uh, select it and press on edit now these all are the paths of different softwares now click on the new button and paste here the copied path all right so we have set the path and now press on the ok button and again ok button again ok so we have integrated flutter into our pc up to this point
Now we will check whether Flutter has been installed or not. So for that, open the command prompt, run it as administrator. Okay. Now here we type Flutter command to see whether our Flutter is installed or not. So here I entered the Flutter command. Now wait for the results. All right. As you can see, Flutter SDK is installed. So now proceed further by this command, Flutter doctor and uh, i wait here till 5 or 10 minutes it not works so that's why i close the command prompt and open it again and then enter again flutter doctor command okay so this is the result of this command now here it says that cmd tools uh, cmd line tools is missing so we are downloading this these tools so for that open the android studio now i place android studio on the desk desktop okay i create a shortcut of that and uh, place it on the desktop as you can see we have to download cmd land tools okay as you can see here android studio has been opened here is the downward arrow open the sdk manager from here there is multiple tabs sdk platform sdk tools okay we are going to sdk tools here is the android sdk compound uh, sorry command line tools as you can see here there is cmd line tools or command line tools there is no difference check on it and press ok button again uh, this is the estimated download size of it and I press ok so this is being downloaded so now we are ready to use command line tools uh, press on the finish button to finish it again go to the command prompt and search here again flutter doctor see the results that it has been downloaded or not as you can see here command line tools are successfully downloaded and installed okay now for the licenses we are going to run this command okay uh, copy this command and paste here now press Y and hit enter. This will be done multiple times. As you can see here, all SDK package licenses accepted. Now you are ready to use Flutter. Okay, the installation process of Flutter and Android Studio has been completed. As you can see here, I again run Flutter doctor command and there is no any warning. Okay, there is only one warning of a Visual Studio. If you are develop the application for Windows, then you can install it. Otherwise, ignore it. Close the command prompt and we will check Android Studio by running it as an administrator because multiple errors can occur due to this. Okay, check this. Run this program as an administrator and then click on the apply button and okay. Now, whenever you will open Android Studio, it will automatically run as an administrator. As you can see, our Android Studio has been opened, but there is no any option of create new project in Flutter. So that's why we use a plugin. Search here the Flutter and this is the Flutter plugin. Install it, accept it and it will be installed. Now install another plugin, which is the Dart plugin, which is very important because we will programming in Dart. So after the installation of both plugins, restart our Android Studio. Okay, close it and again open Android Studio. All right, as you can see here, new Flutter project option is enabled. Okay, so tap on that button. Here are the multiple options, but select the Flutter option. So it's taking the SDK path. Okay, Flutter SDK path. So for that, go to the C drive. As you can see here is the flutter folder and uh, copy the path of that folder from the upper side okay tap on that and uh, copy that path and paste it to the android studio okay copy and paste it to the android studio you can also get the path from here okay tap on the three dots option uh, otherwise click on the next button and there is the information of the project okay so this is the name of the project which i write here the first project and there is a java option otherwise called Kotlin. this is not not this is not the big problem that whether you select java or Kotlin. okay click on the create button to create our first flutter project so as you can see we have installed flutter on our pc and we can also use it that's all for today's video see you in the next one Thank you.